seven years ago, we moved into a new neighborhood. The houses were fresh and new, fences were stained and straight, driveways level and uncracked. As I drive into our area now and look more closely, I'm surprised at how fast things can deteriorate if unattended. Weeds will grow in the paving stone, small shifts and cracks appear in the driveways, fences made of treated lumber, well, they're starting to turn gray. Maybe it's just the fact that I'm getting a little older, but I'm starting to realize firsthand that nothing lasts forever. 1 Peter 1.24 reads, All people are like grass, and all their glory is like the flowers of the field. The grass withers and the flowers fall, but the word of the Lord endures forever. Everything around us, everything we, we see, will eventually fade and deteriorate into nothing. Everything, that is, except the word of God. Now, this is the basis for our promise for today. Everything will fade and fail, but God's word will endure forever. Now, the Greek word used in 1 Peter for word is rima. Rima is defined as that which is or has been uttered by the living voice. It's that which has been spoken, in this case, by God. In Matthew 4.4, 4, Jesus says, Man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Now, interestingly, Jesus uses the same Greek word, rima, in this context as well. So what does this tell us? What does this say to us today? Not only do we find that what God has, that what God has spoken will last forever, we also see that what God has spoken is life bringing and life giving. So if you're looking for something that you can count on, something that will build you up and encourage you, look to the life giving words of God found within the everlasting word of God. And that's my prayer for you today, that each and every one of us would be comforted in knowing that the word of God is alive, it's living and active and will endure forever. And that our God and Father is still speaking and bringing life through his word to us today. Let me pray. Father, I want to thank you that despite so many things that are changing in our world, that you don't change and your word doesn't change. It lasts forever. And I thank you that, that in it there is life. And so I pray for those who are discouraged perhaps today, that they might look to you, that they might look into your word, and that you might encourage them there today and that you would indeed bring life to them. Thank you that we can count on this promise that your word will never change, that it will always be there for us just as you are. We thank you for this now, in Jesus' name, amen. Thanks for joining us today. Have a fantastic day.